All right, so we got a new build on the table. This time it's going to be a Hobby King chassis, or frame, should I say. I'd like to thank Shady for that. This is the first Hobby King chassis I've uh, built. You get the focus here, you get the specs and things to the sides. It's a 200 mil chassis. It's the uh, Midnight. I'm assuming because the stars and some LEDs, but not sure if that's what it is there you go so top part of the frame uh, two lower plates this is all G10 and we have our four small uh, small motor arms and here we have the camera mount <clears throat> and we have the posts bag full of plastic screws which are used for the rubber grommets here those are the LEDs I was speaking of. We got uh, four bars, the screws, and there's the uh, dampeners. And we will be using the Naze 32 for the flight controller. This one is a full Naze. We'll be using the right pins. So I'll saw that up a little bit later. There we go. Come on. Set myself for the fall every time because I know it's not going to focus. <laughs> there you go. Throw that back in there. I always forget to turn off my phone. Sorry about that. All right, you're going to take out these nice quantum motors, get you guys a closer look at them. <clears throat> there you go. See that focus here. So they're 1806, 2300 KV. Very small. Look like a quality product. Can't wait to put those to the test. So you got four of those. Push that to the side. And here we have our receiver. That's the common one that you see in a lot of my projects. These are quite cheap. I think they're uh, under the $8 mark. There are the Spectrum AR6100E. I don't know what the range on them is, but I've uh, I've pushed the six seven hundred feet with them easy. I'm not into the long distance stuff yet. All my FPV flights are relatively uh, close within a baseball field's worth, anyways. Maybe soccer, football field. Okay, here we'll take a look at the uh, ESCs. You got four of these guys. And again, trying to get it to focus. This is a DYS. You're 10 amp. I think we're about to focus it right now. There we go. So for this, these 10 amps should do fine. And here we have our camera. So this is a uh, 600 TVL Sony CCT. There you go. I'm not sure why I don't have it on uh, on the table, but I will be using a 600 milliwatt Luminaire VTX. That's somewhere. <laughs> okay, clear off the table and get cracking on the build. <clears throat> All right. Not often I do the soldering on camera because I find it takes a, a lot of time. But if I had a couple people ask. All right. Get some solder going there. And to speed up everything, we're only going to do uh, the one ESC, one motor. Because it's very similar, just mirrored across for the other ones. Okay, so we we'll get our leads from the ESC. A, B. Uh, let's clean up A a little bit. There you go. And finally, C. And then now for the motor, get the three leads there. And there you go. And now we've got all our ESCs, all the motors, they're all soldered. So we have our secondary board. We're going to feed everything through that. 
or the ESCs anyways. And here are those short motor, motor arms. Okay, so then you get these installed before you go too far in the build. So you're gonna put a plastic screw under, get our dampener, then we have a screw and a washer to hold that in place. So this is gonna separate the motors from everything else. So in theory, the clean part of the board and the dirty part of the board. Okay, so those are all installed. Now for the uh, arms. So I'm gonna start off with saying uh, instructions weren't the best. I went off of uh, pictures I found online. Uh, I guess I wasn't looking too good. For some reason I thought that uh, the posts mounted here, <laughs> which they do not because it doesn't mount with the bottom plate. So, as you can see, I put them all there. I'll fix that up a little bit later. I should have just been uh, nylon nuts there. So, for now, you get the motors installed. So, two screws gets that into place. And there you go. I'm gonna take these off. and replace it with the nylon nut all the way around. And be back. Okay, so that's all done. Now, this is where the posts do mount. <laughs> and I made another mistake here. So that is the bottom part of the board. And uh, it's one of these things that can be very hard to mount if you go the other way around because those rubber grommets at the top won't line up. There you go. So, I put the proper board up top, and as you can see, we have the holes for the rubber grommets. The other board would have been doable, like I said, but it had been a lot of work trying to get all of that uh, <laughs> rifle through from the top to the bottom. Okay, so here we're going to go with the uh, leads inside and the power wires for the ESCs on the outside. Okay, so, quick mock up here. So we're going to put the screw in the washer above the dampener, which is going to separate our board. Oh, puff of smoke there. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. So we're just soldering the uh, ESCs to the distribution board. So negative to negative, positive to positive. You do the same all the way around. Actually... You get this uh, LED bar installed on camera for you. So some solder on both sides. Gets it into place. Find your last side. There you go. Installed. Alright, so now I'm going to stuff our camera in there. I didn't have a proper way of mounting, so I used foam. Just a temp fix for now. Mocking up the nays, the battery, yeah, it should fit. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to install that Lumineer VTX I was referring to in between both of those plates. Not sure if that's permanent, but that's where it's going for now. And what we're going to do for this is we're going to pull some power relatively close, and we're only going to fire the yellow uh, video wire across. And the same thing for the camera, only the yellow wire across. We have uh, closer power sources up front to pull from. Okay, so that's in place. Camera, if it could only stay. <laughs> A lot of wires for nothing here. Okay. Clean that up. There you go. A little bit of solder. I got this new fusion tape I've been using, so if you're wondering why I'm not putting uh, heat shrink on those, it's because I'm going to wrap that stuff on afterwards. Seems to be working very well. Okay, so video wire is soldered. Now we got power to the front camera. Now we got it. No, not that. Now we do. <laughs> and now finally. Power to the video transmitter. Sorry, fingers are in the way, but you get the gist of it. OK. 
Okay. Done and done. So we're going to clip the other wires that were not in use. One's for sound, the other one would have been a negative. And we'll shrink the tube that later. Alright, so here we got our breakout cable, plug that in there. <clears throat> and our motor ESCs, one, two, three, and four. You know. And now the breakout. So we're gonna be using uh, throttle, rudder, aileron, and elevator, as well as aux one and aux two. And in this configuration, actually, it's gonna be gear and uh, aux two. All right. So just to mock it up, we're gonna be using some double-sided tape to hold the nays in place, as well as the transmitter. Or sorry, <laughs> the receiver. Okay. Get the backing off, which is probably the hardest part of this. Because when you pull that off, the whole tape wants to come off with it. Okay. Get in there. All right. That one. Second one's always easier. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. So here we're going to set ourselves up so we have room to stuff the battery back there. So right there is good. And we also have room for the uh, receiver. I tuck it a little bit to the side here. Clear out the fan, the foam uh, camera mount. Okay, so I'm going to push our other board there. We have ultimately eight screws. We're just going to throw one in there, keep it in place. Two to keep it in place. Alright. Snug these up, make sure there's nothing catching and we're clean. And we'll be back when it's finished. Alright. So we're all installed. All the wiring has been loomed and zip tied, tucked to the top as much as possible. It's a little bit different layout than I'm accustomed to, but I like the look. Should be out testing this guy soon. So guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.